Hi, this is video tutorial number 30, Introduction to Jitter using the at op object, or that's what I call it, op, operators, at op. It's the at op for operators. Okay, um, because Jitter is, um, has a bit more complicated objects than Max or MSP does, um, I wanted to spend a little time, you know, kind of using them fully. So we're going to go back and grab one of our old patchers. I saved it as the uh, Jitter Play Movie object uh, file. So there's mine. Jitter Play Movie, and maybe you'll recognize it when I open it. If not, you could, of course, put these things together fairly easily. So here's the things that, that come up when you open that file. This crazy little window if you remember from last week, uh, which is part of the JIT window, 100, 200, there it is. And if we named it, we could change the name of this as well. Um, so um, all this movie does, um, you read the countdown movie, and then you whack on this thing, and it goes around and around and around and keeps counting down, which is nice because it sort of uh, keeps track of what's going on. So let's unlock this patcher and in order to start playing around with the the op object. <laughs> now since you have everything selected just option click on it and move it over here and then of course this extra window pops up and if we were to uh, lock the if we were to lock the patcher, read the countdown movie, and start it, we would have two of them. However, what we'll do is uh, not do that. Let's turn that metronome off, and we'll actually turn this metronome off too. Um, let's uh, unlock the patcher, and uh, I'm trying to remember what we have there in the movie files. Of course, we could go um, uh, Control B to get a browser window and uh, look over here in the movie files I'm, I'm, I'm sorry command B that would be the, that Apple symbol in command and uh, we could go over here to the movie files and just remember the name of one of them here's countdown oh there's a countdown 15 eh, maybe not how about uh, something that we recognize that's easy to see what's going on. Um, how about dishes? It's not that exciting, but we can remember how to spell dishes, right? <laughs> so let's go over here and we'll just type dishes in. And we'll get that as a movie. And then let's get rid of this extra window. Goodbye, window. So what we're going to need to do is somehow um, with the op object to connect this and this one and run it into the window. So what we'll do is first type the letter N, you get the new window, type J I T dot and you can already see it coming up there uh, JIT op. Um, you can just hit the space bar or you can come down here and select it. I'll just hit the space bar and then you get to put in arguments and there's a million arguments you could put in here but we are going to put in at op and then there's 32 symbols we could put in here but for the moment let's just stick with plus signs so hit plus space plus space plus and what that will give you is you're going to add on three different planes you're going to add the pixel values together so let's take this and connect it to the inlet, the left inlet, matrix in, as you can see, pops up there. And then we'll connect the other movie to the right inlet. And it says matrix in two. And then we can connect this down to the JIT window. Okay. And uh, I'm going to unzoom here so we can see what starts to go on. Let's lock the patcher down, click on both of our things, read countdown, read dishes, start the countdown, start the dishes. 
Okay, so now you can see this is this one is just superimposed um, over over that one. Okay, very nice. So that's what the operation does. Now, if this is superimposed, what would happen? Let's click over here and uh, unlock the patcher again and change these to well. If there's plus signs, there's minus signs, right? Minus space, minus space, minus and try it again. Okay, so now we're subtracting the pixels one from the other or possibly inverting them. Uh, we still have the... Yes, we have the uh, countdown movie in its correct format but it's subtracting the other one from it so it comes out as a negative. And probably if we switched these around Let's see if we can do that without it going absolutely nuts. Uh, come on. We'll get the dishes looking correct. Yes. And now the countdown's running backwards. Okay. So that is the really basic essentials of JIT op, but we can keep. Come on. I can't select it. There we go. I just wanted to put these back so it was neat. Okay, well, as always, that would be just far too simple for me to stick with that. Since we're going back and using our old patchers, what if we just added one more in with one more JIT op and figured out if we could do something with that? So we'll move these down and over here, and let's go get um, let's get our fill patcher. Uh, that's an open recent and for me that was number 29 there it is and let's just um, unlock it and pull this out of it and copy it and close it and we'll just stick this one over here okay so um, Hey, that's funny. I thought we had a uh, a running metronome on this one, didn't we? Oh, right, right, right. Ah, ha ha. Okay. Well, so that's what this one does. Does everybody, you guys, all remembering this now? Now it's all coming back to me. Yes, yes, the fill object. Okay. Well, I'll bet you that if we run this JIT matrix into here, it'll work too. So let's make another JIT op op. So we'll just, whoops, got to unlock. And uh, let's zoom in here. Um, I'm just going to click on this, option click, and move it over here. We'll make this movie go in here. And come out here. So now we're going to be modifying the dishes with the fill object. And we'll just see if it works. What the heck? And uh, let's lock it down and see what we get. It's kind of hard to see if we're actually getting anything. Oh, I think we are, but it's not the most obvious. Yes, we are. Let's just go all the way to the top with red, all the way to the bottom with green. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I'll move this up. Oh, I can't. I wish I had a little more control over the goings-on of this video. Oh, I know how to do it. So that we can zoom in on it and look at it at the same time. Here we go. So these things are now only affecting the dish movie and we'll just turn red down to here and remember that they're going to be subtracted out of the dishes. Now if we could turn the dishes to a positive maybe that would uh, make it more easy to see what's going on. But so we're we're mixing um, these colors with the dish movie and then subtracting them 
out of the countdown movie. So let's go back to addition because that seemed to be more legible. Um, plus, plus, plus. Whoops. Plus, space, plus, space, plus. And we've got this one doing minuses now. Okay. And I'll, uh, whoops. And yes. And I'll just zoom in this way. And now we'll be able to see what the difference is when we do this. Whoops, got to lock it. And we'll go green going the other direction. Nice. So we're getting a. So we're essentially mixing this over the dish movie while it's playing. And if we wanted to, of course, we could switch these around so that we were mixing with the countdown movie instead by switching these around. Wow, that's wacky. And there we go. A little more sanity. And it's also easier to see. Right? So we have the countdown movie running around now that's over this, and you, you can get a much better idea of how they mix together when you do it this way. So we'll go back over here. Whoop. Lock it down. And we'll take the red way, way down, which makes it go up in here because it's being subtracted. Way down on the green which brings it up and way down on the blue and that makes um, that makes the countdown almost normal so maybe we should come back over here and uh, let's try times because we haven't tried it yet times divided I don't know if we're allowed to do that I'll check later. And uh, plus. There. So now each one red, sorry, zoom, zoom, zoom. This is going, this, we're going to multiply the reds, we're going to divide the greens, and we're going to add the blues. And all of this can be done because this is the JIT op um, object. And when you tell it at op, it's telling it, use your operators in this object on the two matrices, matrices that are coming in. And so let's, let's see what happens over here. I'm going to just zoom over here. And we'll turn the red. <laughs> I just can't remember to lock it down. Uh, we'll make this shape with the red. And that is, what did I say, multiplying? And we'll make uh, the opposite shape with the green. And uh, double shape with the blue. So anyway, you can see you can get a lot of uh, strange effects out of that by using, by a uh, uh, using the JIT op to combine your matrices together. So you've got uh, this QuickTime movie being combined with this matrix into this, this movie being combined with the combination of these two here, and all of that playing out into the JIT window. All right, well, I may come back with a use for our other one uh, the one where we had the counters I guess that would have been number 28 um, how to fill a matrix uh, the other how to fill a matrix and uh, we'll do some JIT ops with that when I get back but for now that's all I'll see you in the next video thanks for watching